Think your warranty is gonna cover everything in your new construction home? Well, think again, because a phrase you're gonna run into more than just every once in a while is only if documented prior to occupancy. And, and when exactly are you gonna make that documentation? Well, at the blue tape walkthrough. And if you're not familiar, with what that is, that term, Eastwood Homes gives us a great definition. They explain, after the completion of a home, a buyer and a builder may conduct something commonly referred to as a blue tape walkthrough or inspection. This occurs after construction is completed and allows the buyer the chance to point out any problems, defects, or anything that needs additional repair before move-in day. This walkthrough is intended okay, to protect you and give you peace of mind. But what you need to know is there are a lot of things that can go wrong with it. Starting out with, you have to document everything. When you get to your blue tape walkthrough, you're gonna meet like a project or construction manager and they're going to have a nice sized notepad where they're gonna write things down and guess what? they're not gonna give you a copy. You're gonna be doing a detailed walkthrough of this entire house, and what is the point if your findings aren't documented? So how are you gonna be proactive on this? Well, bring your own notepad and write things down, all right? Take a lot of pictures, or you could also like record voice text. The whole point of this is this walkthrough is to identify deficiencies, and a lot of times buyers don't think about documenting what they're finding. Uh, so this is what you need to know. It is not enough for the builder's representative to write it down. You have to take it on yourself to document your findings. Now here's another thing you absolutely must know about the blue tape walkthrough. You are not going to catch everything. I mean, you can be the most detailed person in town and you are still not going to catch everything because the project manager isn't gonna allow you enough time to do that. For example, are you gonna walk the roof? All right, are you gonna check the air distribution to ensure all rooms cool and heat uniformly? Now, it may be that you know how to do these things, but the blue tape walkthrough won't be long enough for you to be that thorough. So how are you gonna be proactive with this? Y'all, you, know, you absolutely must hire a third-party inspector, and you need to do it well before your blue tape walkthrough. And, and you know what? That inspector is gonna take like a good five to six hours at your new home because it's gonna take that long to check everything. So you kind of have to look at the blue tape walkthrough as a collaborative step with your inspector going first. All right, that inspector is going to give you a report, the builder needs to get a copy of it, and you need to study that thing, you know, like when you were back in college studying for a final exam, okay, that kind of studying. Uh, the report will be more thorough and it is going to protect you. When you go to the blue tape walkthrough, bring that inspection report with you and bring up those items while you're there. And, and here's why and, and something else you need to know, they're not going to fix everything. All right, even if it's shown on an inspection report, that doesn't guarantee that they will fix it. Altura Homes makes that very clear in their contract. They say, buyer expressly agrees that builder has no obligation to perform any work identified by inspector and that no portion of the total sales price may be withheld as a result of the inspection. You have to be ready and prepared to fight it. So now I wanna give you some examples of items a builder will readily fix, as well as ones that they're gonna wanna just gloss over. Uh, now this is an actual inspection report of a David Weekly home. All right, so are you ready? All right, the concrete was poorly finished or damaged in multiple areas of the garage floor, leaving uneven areas in need of repair. Now that's a very obvious defect that the builder's not gonna fight over. Uh, the roof is another thing. Now, this particular report showed multiple nail holes were observed in the lower roof slope, buckled shingles observed, poorly secured tabs observed, a damaged shingle tab was present. Now, this is a brand new roof, so you're probably not gonna get pushback from the builder on having this fixed. Or, or how about this? The pull-down attic ladder did not line up properly when extended, leaving a gap between the sections and making it wobbly. Well, this is a safety hazard due to improper installation. When you're talking about an obvious safety issue, 
you're not gonna fight that. Plus, this is an uncomplicated fix. The inspection report also reported breaker number 25 was off upon arrival to the home and tripped immediately when the fireplace light and back patio lights were tested. So you have some obvious defects, safety issues, you know, or issues like that, that a builder's not going to argue with you about. But then, okay, you do have some issues that honestly will take a lot of fighting for. For example, the inspector points out, the entry hallway lights were not installed even close to a straight line. Now to me, that's just poor workmanship, but those lights probably work and that's the argument the builder may give. So you have to be prepared to fight for them to fix it. And, and just note they can, and they have all the tools and workers they need to do it right, but this is probably a repair that they're not gonna do anything about unless you fight for it. Or, or here's, here's another example. The guest bathroom toilet tank was too close to the wall, causing it to rattle when the toilet seat was lifted. Now, are you gonna fight for this to be corrected? Like, do you want it to rattle every time the toilet is, you know, seat is lifted? Or maybe in this case, you just don't care. Here's another example of a repair a builder probably wouldn't do anything about. The inspection report reads, the master bedroom supply register was several degrees higher than other rooms in the home when cooling. This may be due to the long duct run or restrictions. Balancing is needed to send more conditioned air to this room. This room has south and west exterior walls and multiple windows, which will allow a significant amount of radiant heat. Cold. Well, I don't know about you, but to me, I want the master bedroom to be like among the best air conditioned rooms in the house, but the builder may not want to do anything about that. Or how about this one? The pantry door hit the countertop when opened fully. Or here's another one. The floor tiles were not level in some areas of the bathrooms leaving uneven edges. I hope you're seeing it is not enough for you to just attend the blue tape walkthrough. It's not enough for you to just have an inspection done. You have to study the report with your agent and come equipped ready to point out, fight for, and discuss the items you found on the inspection report, especially the ones the builder's not going to want to do anything about. So now I, I, I do wanna tell you this, okay? Something I want you to be very realistic about, you know, is that the house will not be perfect. There are gonna be imperfections and you are gonna have to decide which hills to die on, so to speak. Okay, so, so far to the blue tape walkthrough, you're coming armed with a way to document findings as well as an excellent knowledge of your inspection report. Now, going along with being this familiar with the inspection report, there's plenty you don't have to do at the blue tape walkthrough. So sometimes you'll hear people tell you, you know, you have to check every appliance, do the sink works, do the toilets flush and so on. Well, your inspector already did a lot of that for you. I mean, there's a reason you paid him 500 bucks, right? The blue tape walkthrough is meant to be incredibly detailed and thorough, but you can know going in that your inspector has already verified a lot. The project manager, he's gonna give you a set amount of time for this appointment. It's probably gonna be around two hours and you need to use that time well. If you're thoroughly knowledgeable with the inspection report, there may be several areas you wanna focus on and really fight for and other areas you already know are okay. You might be thinking at this point, how do you differentiate? Well, in the inspection report I mentioned earlier, we read the following. A real estate inspection is a visual survey of a structure and a basic performance evaluation of the systems and components of a building. It provides information regarding the general condition of a residence at the time the inspection was conducted. So picture the inspector with strong attention to systems and components and less attention to the scuff on the baseboards or like the paint overspray on one of the blinds. This is the approach I recommend, okay? I've included in the description section of this video, uh, it's a walkthrough checklist. So print that out and then cross reference it with your inspection report, checking off the items that are already verified by the inspector. So are you seeing the element of collaboration here? When you get to that walkthrough, you're gonna know exactly what to check for. Now this is something else that's really important to keep in mind. Your inspector will not know the various upgrades you may have ordered, okay? So for example, on one of our recent closings, our buyer had paid for an upgraded carpet pad that wasn't installed. 
the inspector wouldn't have known to check for that. So that is yet another thing you need to bring to your blue tape walkthrough. Did you pay for an upgraded carpet pad? Uh, maybe special lights over the kitchen island or an upgraded kitchen sink or like an extra gate in the backyard. These are all things the inspector will have no knowledge of. So that is on you to verify that those were done correctly. The blue tape walkthrough should ultimately be a collaborative effort, which brings me to another thing that you need to know. Your third party inspector is not invited. Now that might surprise you because your most ideal scenario could be to have the third party inspector advocating on your behalf. But these new home builders, man, they're not feeling it. For example, this is how Megatel puts it. Independent home inspectors are not permitted to attend purchasers new home orientation walkthrough. Any unresolved items specifically identified by an independent home inspector on the written report will be addressed directly with purchaser during the walkthrough. Now, I have to tell you, Perry Homes takes it even one step further. In their contract, they state only purchaser and seller's representative may attend the new home demonstration. So according to their contract, not only can the inspector not attend, but the realtor isn't allowed to be there either. So like it or not, home builders want that blue tape walkthrough to be with the project manager, you, and you know, unless it's Perry, your realtor. Okay, so we've talked a lot about the blue tape walkthrough, but something I want you to keep in mind is that usually this meeting is twofold. At the same time, you're at the home to do the walkthrough, you're probably also going to have your new home orientation. Okay, so what is that? Well, for starters, Legend Homes explains you'll have an introduction to your appliances, including oven, microwave, refrigerator, and dishwasher, tips about energy efficiency, how to operate your door locks, where to find your smoke and carbon monoxide detectors, but that's just for starters. As Legend explains, your host will also talk through some of the most common maintenance tips you'll need to know when you move in. And while you won't be able to cover every little detail during your homeowner orientation, some of the most common homeowner best practices include how to operate and program your thermostat, how to change your HVAC and air filters, how to operate your irrigation system, your sprinklers, how to set your alarm codes, how to set your garage door remote and sensors, how to maintain your water heater, how to care for your home as the seasons change, how to test or reset your GFCI receptacles, how to maintain your home's foundation. But there's still more. Legend explains you will also review the warranty information associated with your home, including what's covered, how long your coverage lasts, and how to submit warranty requests. So when you hear blue tape walkthrough, okay, or you might hear it called, you know, new home orientation, just to know going in, this is going to be a long meeting. All right, it's gonna take a lot of mental focus. I mean, I could have in this video walked you through all the things you need to look out for and you could have like this warm and fuzzy feeling going into it, you know, essentially playing the role of informal inspector, right? You're like, I'm prepared, I got this. Uh, the problem with that is you're not an inspector and things will be missed. So what I wanted instead was for you to come prepared and utilize the process for the maximum amount of protection in your new home. Because remember, this is an investment. So collaborate heavily with your inspector. Don't spend your time doing his job. Prioritize your mental activity on the repair issues you wanna fight for. Uh, show up prepared informed and mentally fresh. This is not a meeting for when you've been at work all day and you're already exhausted. Now, after the blue tape walkthrough, remember how in the beginning I mentioned that delightful phrase you'll find in some builder warranties, not only if documented prior to occupancy. Well, your list needs to be documented in writing. There needs to be a paper trail showing that you communicated these items as concerns because Maybe the project manager wrote them down or maybe he didn't. Again, this is about your due diligence protecting your investment. So at this point, are you done? Well, no, because how will you know if the corrections have been made? I mean, hopefully you came to a meeting of the minds at the blue tape walkthrough, but none of those repairs have actually been completed at that time. You just pointed them out. Well, part of the buying process is you'll have one more meeting before closing called the final walkthrough. So I would encourage you to put some space between this 
in your closing day. And, and here's why. Many times builders will have stiff penalties if you don't close on time. Like for example, with impressions homes, if you're supposed to close on the 31st and you don't close until the 1st, that one day extension will cost you $2,000. So you want to exercise your leverage here to ensure these repairs get done. But at the same time, you have to know delaying closing can be tricky. When you have your final walkthrough, right? So we're not talking about the blue tape, your final walkthrough, bring your list and be ready to check everything off. But what about the items you can't see? Well, unless you want to climb up on the roof, the builder needs to provide some photographic documentation. So be ready to stand your ground because you have far more leverage before you close. But again, you're facing stiff penalties if you don't close on time. So again, it's not enough, right, to have a third party inspection. It's not enough to show up to your blue tape walkthrough with a notepad. It's not enough to document the repairs. You're still not done. You need to take this last step at your final walkthrough. To the extent I've hammered home the idea that a third party inspection is a must, you need to know many builders are actually restricting inspections and heavily discouraging third party inspectors from coming out. Like some inspection phases are actually not allowed. And at other times they'll have these like really onerous requirements on the inspectors, like making them have extra insurance or join trade organizations. And, and if that surprises you, okay, it's yet another way you need to come prepared to the home buying game so on this issue of restrictions on inspections I talk all about it in this video which you may want to watch next in the meantime Wendy out